11. Um, every time the door's open here, I'm here. I know you guys. I feel comfortable speaking to you because I'm here every single time that the doors are open, like I just stated. I was born and raised here in the 3rd District for 21 years. My father, Eddie Biggs, and my mother, Eddie, my mother Pat Biggs, <laughs> there's my woman <laughs> right here, uh, raised me down here off Woodsmith Road, right down the street from Randy Smith's parents' gas station, and they had these great sandwiches, and I remember as a little kid going up there and getting candy and coming back to my house and having picnics with my mom, and 3rd District's an amazing district, and I love it down here. And they've done some amazing things down here, and that's because you've got a great commissioner in Randy Smith. Um, but as I sit back and I think about things that happened when I was little, how you could ride your bicycle to the store, how you could go to sleep with your door unlocked at night, how you could have your friends over and you knew where your buddies were because all the bicycles were out in your front yard, I started thinking that we're missing stuff like that. You know, and the safety is a concern in Knox County. Um, I've had an opportunity to be around that my entire life. Um, and the school systems and the things in the schools is also a concern in Knox County. So I took a step back and I started looking at it and I said, do I want to be one of the people that talk about it or do I want to do it? So a year ago, we started our campaign for County Commission at Large Seat 11. We've done a lot of amazing things so far and I can't wait to get into office and put them into place. One of the things I want to talk about that I just heard of today was the $40 million renovation. Is that, that is in this district, right off Middlebrook Pike, off of a, uh, the new Sentinel just launched an additional $40 million new jobs, everything, right off Middlebrook in the Dow Springs area. So that be in this district, Randy? Yeah, so that's the third district. And it's coming here. Um, a lot of new jobs and growth and stuff like that. So that leads me into other things. I am pro-growth. Um, I want to do anything I can to bring more jobs to Knox County. I don't think we're taking advantage of our students from the University of Tennessee. Whenever they graduate, they're moving away to Nashville and Memphis, uh, Chattanooga, Atlanta. I want them to stay here. I want them to do like I'm doing and grow a family here. Um, and I have to give them the opportunity to do that, so we need to recruit jobs. We've got the freeway systems intersecting here. We've got a great tax rate. So. A lot of companies should be able to take advantage of that. So another thing I want to do is I want to focus on safer neighborhoods. Um, doing that, I want to give the Knox County Sheriff's Office deputies a pay increase. It's been a long time since this happened, and they are due one. They put their lives on the line every single day. I will never take back water on that. You're not going to be able to get me to change my mind. Our police officers are one of our best assets, and it's time that they be compensated for the funds that they have not received over the past eight years. Number three, I'm gonna focus on schools. Uh, our teachers need a pay increase. Our teachers are definitely handling our best asset, and that's our kids. And everybody wants to know how I'm gonna do that. I don't have enough time to tell you how I'm gonna do that, but there's some things that I have um, that's gonna pay for these pay increases. First off, I do work for the Knox County Trustee's Office. I'm now the Collections Administrator. When I started and I took over that position, Four years ago you had 14,000 delinquent properties in Knox County now you have a little over 9,000 delinquent properties in Knox County we can get in there and get aggressive and sell those properties that's going to help put some money back into our general fund for these pay increases we're not going to have to raise taxes I'm not a tax raising kind of guy I'm not going to vote for a pay for a tax increase but what I am going to do is get in there and show how you can kind of tighten that belt and there's some things, some programs that if we tighten up, we're going to be able to make a huge impact here in Knox County. I'd love to talk to you guys more about it. I'd love to talk to you guys about some of the ideas I had, and uh, I'm going to stay here until it's over. If you have questions, you can ask them of me, but more than anything, I want to give a huge shout out to my mom and dad, Eddie and Pat Biggs, for being here, and my daughter, Lillian, who turns one on Saturday, being here. This is her first uh, political event where she gets to see her dad speak. So. Thank you all for your time. And, uh, please, I need your support. I'd appreciate your vote and we appreciate your prayers. Thank you.